D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video LG Multi V5 VRF system or VRV system this system does simultaneous heat and cool uh, and um, I had a service call today the arrow code was 116 C2 and it was flashing right here on this display so right now it's showing arrow 53 1 okay so before it was 116 1 C2 so the one meaning is the master which is this is the master that's the slave they're piped together in parallel or tandem or tandem as you may if you're a pro you know what i'm talking about if you're a beginner you should research that <laughs> all right so yeah this is the master so we're flashing um one one six one one the last digit right here indicating that's the either the master or the slave so if, if it was one one six two then it would be the slave but it was doing one one six one just the same way it's doing 53 53 1 as you can see right now and that is a communication error between indoor and outdoor master which is this one this is the master um but before getting to that this this uh, that 116 error code on this lg multi v5 um if you have not subscribed please do so right now so when i upload videos like these you get them right away um and smash that bell icon right so uh, smash that bell icon so that when the videos come up you get them right away all right so do that right now i'm in new york city on the roof as you can see this is commercial hvac all right um oh by the way look there's some there's another multi view over there let me zoom in on that look at that what is what is the hearts guys another lg multi v system over there all right but anyways let's get back to to the uh the video is going to be a short video probably about five or six minutes total total i promise so the 116b when i looked up the manual in the manual it is the um all pressure sensor and also not only did he uh say 116 uh one um it did flash c2 as well which is telling you it's compressor number two so the 116 uh, error code is basically uh all all sensor or, or or you can say oil level sensor all right and for, so there's two compressors one two this one right here is c2 the, the covers off of it but it's all wrapped in uh it's all wrapped in noise you know insulation so it'll be quiet operation for quiet quieter operation but the compressor is in there Okay, and these are uh, compressors are not just the standard compressors if you don't know about these kind of systems. They are uh, inverter compressors. But here is the oil sensor, right in the bottom there. You know, I'm not going to, I won't touch this one. This one is fine. This is, the, this is the one over here that was giving me the problem. So there it is. difficult to see so it's two it's just two wires going onto a terminal block oh, come on get out of the way get out of my way as you can see that's it just those two wires right two wires going onto the terminal block on the bottom of the compressor that senses the oil level all right I don't know exactly how it does it, but that's how it does it. All right? Now these two wires, these two wires goes back into a module right here. All right, so this is like for all my subscribers and uh, the people who watch my videos, you know what I'm saying? You get this stuff real time on my channel. So here is the module that converts that uh, those two wires into another plug on the other end I don't want to take it all apart but in the end 
this little control logic right here, our control board, is the oil sensor. All right, or you can make, you want to call it an oil sensor board? I don't know. Um, so, in this case, I'm going to replace this little board right here. Right? See that? Because if the actual sensor in the compressor is faulty, nothing you can do but replace the compressor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace this little board here. I'm going to reach out to the manufacturer and I'm going to order it. Right? So like I said, it has two ends. On the one hand, you have a plug. And that's two wires going to the compressor, the two prongs on the compressor. And then the other end, over here, it comes out to a, a three, uh, three, let me zoom out. It comes out to a three wire plug, All right? And this is where it goes on the board. This is for compressor two. This is for compressor number one, okay? So that board in the middle, I'm gonna replace that. Um, if the fall comes back still, because there's no way for me to tell if this system is low on oil. Uh, there's no side glass. You know so if i replace that board it comes back what i'm going to do next i'm going to order from the manufacturer some oil and see if they have any instructions and on, uh, on, on how to hide it like uh, as far as proportion wise because you don't want to put too much oil in the system and then i'll go that route um if that doesn't work then more than likely it's the sensor within the compressor is faulty okay so let me see if i could find this on the schematic before i get out of here uh So uh, there is the uh, this board right here. There it is right here. There's your sensors. So you see it's a three wire, but nonetheless, uh, it looks like it's a some type of thermistor that warms up and based on resistance, it will know if there's all the present or not, or how much how deep is the oil. I don't know exactly how it does it, but from here. You can see that is a thermistor okay and it comes back on the board three wires however when it goes onto the compressor it's just two prongs as you can see that's it that's it just two wires on the compressor goes into this module right here and this is the module I'm going to replace so two wires leaving the module, okay? And it uh, uh, going to the compressor and three wires going back to the board, the main board. So I'm gonna replace this module. You can see it's all taped up. I didn't wanna remove this again, but uh, it's just a pain doing it with, with one hand. So, just a quick little troubleshooting tip for you guys if you have run into this problem and you don't know what to do. There is a module hitting in this uh, thick plastic. You have to cut it away. And then I guess put back some tape on it. Looks like this was replaced in the past because there is electrical tape on it. All right, now if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis, okay? And again, like I said, uh, uh, hit that uh, bell icon so that when I upload videos you get them right away videos like this you get them right away but there is the other end of the plug as you can see it's red it's a red plug going into the white uh, harness and over here it's also red all right so I'm gonna close this video off it's almost 10 minutes Still here, you're special. New York City, a lower east side, beautiful day.